welcome back everyone to Mount and Blade Warband as the Faith Militant. As you can see, uh, the Reach had has lost Tumbleton to the Riverlands and Ashford to the North. Now, I don't think that uh, neither the North nor the Riverlands will be able to hold on to these towns, but, you know, they have them for now. Um, but, you know, with, their with them being occupied here in the South, I thought we should go ahead and take our first town. And uh, obviously we could have taken Maidenpool, but there are just so many men in there that I think this wouldn't really work out well. So instead, I decided that we're going to actually just disregard this because Atlas and Rosby, those are just castles. And they are, well, they require siege towers, which is obviously kind of annoying to deal with. Um, and Maidenpool is just too well defended. So I thought we're going to, yeah, well, t try and take uh, salt pans now. Because the Rublands don't really have a whole lot of archers. So I've brought up Septon, Robin, and some of his, uh, some of his most, uh, yeah, his, his best archers uh, and crossbowmen. And I hope that we can weaken the walls a little bit. Little, little bit. Um, I won't really want to commit fully um, here because they do have some amazingly powerful forces. I just want to kind of test the waters and, and see what this looks like. So yeah, we'll besiege the town. It's only ladders and that's why I kind of want to do it. It only takes like six hours. Um, and if anything, you know, is, is getting sketchy, then we'll have to uh, obviously just go back. Alright, so let's just read what's happened. Ashford has been besieged, and oh, several lords of the Riverlands, and, and so have been taken. Interesting. Alright, well, we'll lead our soldiers into an assault. Mm, yep, and we'll just kind of see what happens. Uh, they've only got food stores for 20 more days. That's not that much. Usually a town starts off with like maybe 30. So... That's actually pretty cool. We might even be able to starve the castle, but yeah, I think that's not going to happen. Alright, so here we are. What the heck kind of layout is this? That's awfully strange. Okay, so let's see who we've got. We've got, um, well, our most devout, if we should have any, hold back. Um, we've got... I don't even know what's going on. Uh, you follow me. Holy Hundred, follow me. We've got the poor fellows, follow me. We've got the Stranger's Servants follow me, and the Warrior Sons follow me as well. What the heck is this? Alright, we have our archers here. Kind of set you up here. What kind of layout is this? This is no castle. Oh, we have to walk this entire way? Ugh. Alright. All right, so we're getting closer. Um, I, I really don't like this this castle or castles with such a layout because it, it takes ages to get here. It really takes ages to walk over here. Um, I have I had my uh, my cavalry hold back a holy hundred, but yeah, let's uh, let's have our archers move forward. How many do we even have? 60 Maiden Sentinels. Okay, so I hope that they're really going to be able to do a good job of weakening the walls. Uh, we're actually experiencing quite a lot of backfire so far, which I, I'm actually kind of surprised with. I, I wouldn't have expected so many um, archers here, but we are... Actually, I got hit by, by an arrow, which is kind of annoying. Or by a bolt, I guess. They're using crossbow bolts. I think we have to get even closer. Is that... Maybe that's the thing. The first... Right, we've got... We've taken the first casualty there. Good. Um... First kill is on our side, I like that. But we have to get even closer. So this will take a long time. This siege will definitely take a long time. They all have tons of uh, tons of shields and whatnot. So yeah, I think I'm going to be spending some time trying to weaken the walls. And uh, if we've done that sufficiently, then I think, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cut right back. Welcome guys to our second assault of salt pans. And... Um, in the first one, we didn't really, we weren't really particularly successful. We had like 16 kills, but we lost five people ourselves. So, yeah, that that wasn't really all that good. Um, I decided to change around our troops a little bit more so that we now bring actually 85 maiden sentinels instead of 60, so some tw uh, 25 extra. And I will actually co tell them to fire at will now because I had them just so they would move quick. I had them on uh, hold fire. Uh, but we'll send them all forward now. We basically just have. Like a few a few knights 
and, and, and obviously a few of our warrior sons with us. The rest are all archers um, that are still streaming in. Ah, oh, why are they so far behind? I thought, oh well, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually kind of insane to see how much damage the enemies still do despite that they don't actually have that many archers. Um, so actually, you know, this is not what I want. I don't want them to shoot to shoot from all the way over there. Uh, but oh well. Um, anyway, um, we have to make do now. The problem is that they seem to be really well defended. I'm actually going to shift my archers over because the last time I just had them kind of in the center. And that caused them to actually take a lot of hits from people from the sides. So I think I want to take them out from the side uh, first. And take out their their archers and their crossbowmen, and then um, and then we will actually focus more on on the rest of their troops. Because taking out their archers is the is the most important thing out of these. Um, so yeah, we're slowly getting some kills in. It's not particularly, uh, I guess, interesting, but I, I think we definitely need to make the make use of of this weakness of of the uh, rebellions. Because um, it, I mean, yeah, they have. Pretty good knights or decent knights, I would say, um, and they they have good infantry as well. But if they have no archers and only a few crossbowmen, then we should definitely uh, take advantage there. Um, so yeah, I'll now bring them into the center because we dealt with the few men they had on the left, and we should hopefully uh, get some more kills now. Uh, the problem is obviously also with the archers that they run out of arrows pretty quickly. Um, so even even Septon Robin, who I gave I think two. Uh, like an extra 30 arrows, even he runs out of them really fast. But yeah, um, our knights are just all very grim because they want to—they want to be part of this fight as well. So this is looking definitely better. Um, we already got six kills and not a single casualty ourselves. I like it. All right, but still, uh, this is not too interesting. I think I'll uh, just let them shoot away, and we'll probably have to take a few more of these assaults. Uh, we'll have to see if that's even even possible. So you now witness the third assault here, and I actually need to tell my people to attack uh, once again, and we'll have to send them in obviously much closer. Wow, <laughs> a whole barrage of arrows. Now we've got about 83 Maiden Sentinels and a few uh, obviously Holy Hundred and Warrior Sons. Um, the last assault, the second one, went actually quite well. We took about four casualties, um, and but we killed 40, we killed 39 people, so I'm actually, I really feel like that was a good one, um, but I want to do obviously one more, I would like to do as many as possible to be quite honest, because they are, they're actually really good, um, in fact our, our crossbowmen are actually the ones who are the most useful in this, because I think the archers just run, they're just running out of, of arrows way too quickly, I suppose that they're the ones who actually help break the shields in the beginning, but then they just run out of arrows and you have to do everything again. And I, I gotta tell you, this is a pretty long walk from the spawn point up here. So, um, yeah, this is not all too pleasant. But anyways, we finally made it again. Over here, we've got so many archers. I wonder if I should, like, if I should maybe put the archers in front and, like, the crossbowmen a little bit behind. Just because, you know, this way we would be able to uh, concentrate them more in the center. Maybe I should do that. But regardless, Sapton Robin is leading our Maiden Sentinels uh, quite well, um, especially since we took out most of their crossbowmen. Uh, we're basically just we're actually just killing them. Now, what I've been doing uh, was actually I told my warrior sons and my uh, people to hold back, and uh, I've kind of uh, attacked. I've actually fought a little bit. Um, if I could get through here, I could demonstrate. Um, so basically, what I would do, I would go on. Uh, onto the ladders and uh, kind of pretend that I attack them uh, and actually I would attack them as well but this would uh, often cause them to open their, their shields because um, they, they would want to attack me which I find kind of funny uh, you can't do it too often though because uh, as you can see I actually took some damage there and I didn't want to die because obviously we're still playing by the wound system and you know uh, there's this one crossbow up there uh, I, I hope he doesn't see me but yeah, so as you can see, uh, when they see me here, they try to uh, kind of attack me um, and, and kind of make this attack motion. And then they're much more vulnerable towards attacks, uh, towards uh, ar archer fire. Um, but yeah, look at look at how many knights and stuff they have. This is very scary, actually. <laughs> so this is what I've been doing. I've been kind of standing here, 
uh, trying to agitate them somehow. Uh, and this crossbow finally went down. All right, but it, I, I gotta be careful still. I still gotta be careful what I do. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Look, even the knights are taking it hard. And I think the the more the more crossbowmen we kill, the better it goes. Yeah, 27. We have killed already. Um, and they have no one to shoot back, I think. Take that. Ah, there, yeah, I got it. But yeah, I think I'll be doing that a little bit more and I'll come back once uh, we're ready for another assault. Welcome to assault number six. So the last three assaults I did, uh, they actually each got about 60 kills. So we brought the uh, we brought the garrison down to 70 or well, 81 men. 81 men. A few of them actually uh, were only wounded and they healed up again. But yeah, so about about 76 to 81 men. And um, now I. I switched around our troops a little bit, so we have we are bringing 24 poor fellows, and I want them obviously to be at the forefront. Then we'll have our archers right there, and then we'll have our, our cavalry come, just hold back a little bit here behind. So we'll send in our archers, uh, our infantry first, our poor fellows, 24 men. Then we've got about 40 maiden sentinels, just kind of dealing some damage. They're not our elite troops. I I'm I'm sending in veterans, um, just because I feel like. You know they, they can use the experience um so we'll do that and then we'll have yeah we have about 42 holy hundred knights and uh, that should be able uh or that should be enough to break the the gates of soul pants in fact i actually want you guys to come a lot closer yes because I, I will need you i will need you okay now first of all um let's get our archers set up even closer this is not close enough you can you can easily go all the way up here this is fine so we'll have our infantry ready to uh, march in um, yeah it really I don't like this this layout um, I, I hope that if we really take this castle now which I'm oh this town I'm pretty sure we will I hope that we'll never have to take it again because it's it's really kind of a pain to have to walk that far uh, from the spawn location all the way here so I really don't feel bad about um, you know using these archers ep using these archers um, to this extent, but anyway, um, let's uh, make sure that all of our archers actually are able to get through. Um, okay, so what I will do is I will send in our infantry. I will send in our knights right after, but because they're so far behind, it's going to take them a while to to get there. Um, yeah, and then our archers, let them through, please. Move, move a little bit behind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe a little bit more. That should be. Right, this should be fine. Now everyone should be able to get through. Um, they still have some pretty decent forces, so we, we will take some casualties, but it shouldn't be uh, as bad. Um, and yeah, I actually have taken you know a little bit of damage as well as you can see because I was you know baiting the men on the walls. But yeah, so far we're actually not taking any deaths. I like that. It will happen, but you know as long as it doesn't happen, I'm actually quite happy about that. We've got Baron Apparent with us here, right, right there. I like to see that. Um, so far, it's good. It's going really well. Sir Vlad the Ruthless got a kill. He's standing behind with the archers, but he seems to have gotten a kill there with his uh, crossbow. I like it. So yeah, I probably... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get on the top of the walls. I'm not sure if I should, to be quite honest. Um, well, I, I kind of do want to get some of the action, though, so uh, let's let's try that. Oh, damn, I always keep, kept being pushed off. Alright, so this is looking good. Yeah. Now, I initially was thinking about just sending in our infantry and uh, cavalry, but uh, having the archer support really does make a difference. Okay, so they did get a little bit of reinforcements, but this should be the last 40 of them. Yeah, pretty sure of that, actually. Come on, I want I want to get some uh, some part of this as well. Please. Can we get in here? Yes. Alright. Well, my man. We've got to be careful. Now, they've got some pretty tough knights still. Oh. And I fell off. Uh, oh well. Well, that was it. I think that was my chance at glory. Whoa, well, he's he's clinging on to the <laughs> to the stairs there. Uh, that was my I think that was my my chance at glory. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do any more in this battle. I don't think there is uh, there is Sir Bonifer, the good, leading his holy hundred. He's not the first one, but that's okay. He's at least in front of Berenger. 
I think, yeah, our knights are just taking care of this now. How many men have I got left? Six. So yeah, I, I won't be able to do anything. But I think I got at least, like, one kill or so. Um, so that's, that's good, I suppose. And then, uh, soul plants should be ours. Come on, anyone left? Anyone left? Oh, there might be... Oh, there's some... There are people left. Yes. Oh, no. Ah, oh, darn it. Well... That sucks. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you. So we can get, have a little bit of fight. Nice. I wish this was the very last person, but I guess you can't hope for that. So there's one more Rubble and the Knight. Um, how about we'll just bring the archers over here and we'll deal with it. Although, you know what? I'm actually tempted to, to try and, and kill him myself. Because I, I mean, I can jump on there. It's just that I fell off. Actually, Sir Flat is probably going to take him out. Pretty sure about that. Sir Flat, go there and take him out. I think he'll be able to take him out with his crossbow. But if not, I might even be able to just kick him down. It would be glorious to get the last kill. That would be very glorious indeed. And my archers, I mean, honestly, you could just stay here, really, and shoot him. Uh, you don't have to go all the way down. Alright. Uh, come, come on. Come on. Yes. Ooh. I'm, uh, I'm about to get my uh, next wound here. Anyone want to take him out? You're welcome. Oh, someone took him in the head just as I was about to finish him. But still, that was an epic duel here on the on the top of this uh, of this building. And finally, yes. Finally, we, we have taken our first town, so let's uh, check that out. Um, we did not take a single cash. Uh, well, we did take 39 wounded. Holy balls, that's actually quite a lot. But no one died, uh, which is actually a... That's a nice change for once. Um, so yeah, so Flat got two kills. Jonathan, except in Jonathan, leading the poor fellas up there. He actually got two kills. Did he, went, did, did he go down? He did go down, but, you know, he, he did a really good job there. Awesome, I like that. Uh, Terrence Canning did escape, and so did the other Lord. That's okay. Um, but we did free Lord Renegade Estrin. I don't really have a choice. I just have to free him, which I guess is fine. Um, and we can restock our levies a little bit. Now, we're definitely going to take the poor fellas. We're going to take the veteran poor fellas as well. The peasant women. Uh, this guy. Uh, the armed villagers. And just like a lot of you people have actually suggested... That I should take the raiders. So I will take the raiders on as well. And they will be they will be part of the garrison. They will be immediately made part of the garrison. I can't take any more. Okay well in that case. Outlaw man at arms. An outlaw leader. I think we'll take him. Um, archers should I rather take archers? You got raider horsemen. Raider leader. You know what? I'll, I'll take the leaders. I'll only take the leaders right? Because they're supposedly the best. I can't take any more men. Well that's okay then. We'll just take those. All right. Other than that, we only crap here. And we're kind of running out of food as well. Now, obviously, the advantage of using of using several assaults was that um, that we could easily weaken the walls and basically take this with no casualties. The problem is it took a lot of time. Um, and, yeah. Uh, Baron Capran, I wish to the fur appointment for now because that will give us a immediate a garrison. Uh, we're not going to plunder anything. And salt pants is ours. Great. Um, so, as I said, I'm not sure if we're really going to be able to hold it, but we'll, we'll definitely do our best. Now, what I definitely want to do is, uh, yeah, change out the garrison a little bit. Um, you can upgrade to a silent sister. And I think we'll bring, yeah, both, actually all five silent sisters here immediately. The heavy rebel in the night, I think we'll take that one. Uh, we'll take the five... We'll take all the knights, because you don't need any knights. You've got 26 Riverland men-at-arms. Okay, so that's about... That's 20. That means you've got... If I leave you 100 archers here... Uh, do I have 100 archers? Don't really think so. Um, Elite Veil Long Bowmen. I don't think I'm going to be able to leave you that many men. Alright, let's, uh, let's upgrade first, and let's see what I can live, uh, yeah, uh, leave here. You will upgrade, 
Yule upgrade as well. I kind of need these archers myself. What could I... What could I give you? Um, I'm honestly not too sure what exactly I want to give you. Let's first give you up there. Peasant women. I could give you two Dornish archers, 21 elite Westland longbowmen. Hmm. You know what I think I will give you? I will give you the Vatoran Stormlander archers if I can find them. Yes. I will give you like all of them. 17. Then I'll give you... Wait, that's 17. Then I'll give you these two... Hmm... Bale Archers. Six. That's 23. And then I'll give you these two. That is 25. Right? That's 25 Archers. Okay, so we've got 25 Archers. You've got... 40 men. Riverland Men at Arms. Do I need them for anything? I don't really need the Riverland Men at Arms. But yeah, I think I'll do it like this. So you have... What, 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 what garrison is this now? We've got a garrison of 73. That's not really all that good. But I think it will do for now. Uh, we've got some pretty decent archers there. Um, and some regular dudes. Okay. Now let's actually go ahead and check out the castle here. Because now that we've taken we've taken this town. I might as well see how it looks. Okay. We've got a farmer. Two farmers here. Yes. And Septon Luthion. Okay. Peace of the Vada to you. I am a Septon, a servant of the Seven. Oh. Yes. Um, well. I am but a sinner. Septon, I need your help. Yes. Sure. Um, I want a population of salt pens to love me. Donate 200 coins. Ah, interesting. I've sinned. Alright, let's 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 go ahead and do that. Um, okay, we just lost 300 coins. Nothing happened. Alright, fine. Well, that's good enough. Alright, well, this is a pretty humble castle, but that's, uh, that's okay. Um, we might even make this our main seat if we are able to hold it. That is, of course, that's the question. If we're going to be able to do that. Is there anything in this chest? Hmm. I don't know. But anyways, I think I'm going to have to end this episode here, guys. We've taken our first town, which is a great step forward. Uh, hopefully, it's going to make us uh, a lot more money because we kind of run out of that. Um, and I also hope that we're obviously going to be able to hold this town. We'll have to see. But that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.